Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a really, I want to call it mermaid. I want to say mermaid, but I feel like that phase has died out, but I'm still going to call it because I still think it looks like a mermaid, but it is this really pretty like purple blue look and I'm using the All I See Is Magic palette by ColourPop. And it's just this really pretty palette. Let me show you the inside real quick. Um, it's just super cute. And yeah, so I came up with this look with using it. And then I'm also going to be showing y'all the highlighter palette. This is what it looks like as well. So I'll be using those two products and two other new products from ColourPop. So if you wanna see how I created this look, then keep on watching. But I do have um, one announcement before we get the video rolling, and that is about the giveaway that I have going on on my channel. I'm giving away three products to one lucky winner and subscriber. And those products are the Magnetic Lashes from Sally. They're the Ardell brand. And they are the double wispy ones. A Freeman Pore Cleansing Strawberry Mint Sheet Mask. And then the biggest, I feel like the biggest one or best one of all is the Soft um, Revolution, Makeup Revolution Highlighter Palette. And I picked this up from Sa Sally's. I picked this up from, oh my God, I was about to say Sephora. I picked this up from Ulta the other night. And I've been so tempted. Like, I just wanted to try this so bad. But I haven't. Like, I've held off. I've contained myself, even though I wanted to. But I will be giving away th those three things to one lucky person. And all you have to do is go back to the video where it says giveaway in big letters. And that is where you can enter the giveaway. So you have to like that video, obviously be subscribed to me, um, and then comment down below whenever you have done all of those things. It's that simple to enter. So if you wanna to enter to win those, be sure to do so. It will be ending pretty soon. So be sure you get entered because I don't want you to miss it. So without further ado, let's get into this video on how I created this super cute Halo Mermaid look. There we go, I can call it that, the Halo Mermaid look. So let's roll the video so in the all i see is magic palette that we are using today it's got a lot of cute colors in it i will show you real quick i've already primed and set my eyes i used the ColourPop no filter concealer and then i just dusted some collab powder on top just to set everything and I went ahead and done that off camera so it would save a little bit of time because my videos are always so long. So I did do that off camera. But now let's jump into the eye look. It's got this really pretty transition color right here. Um, it's like a peachy color. And I think I'm going to go for a halo eye. Um, really have no idea how it's going to turn out. But we're just going to roll with it. So... I'm going to use this peachy transition color first and I'm just going to put that on my eyes. Going in with this peachy color, I'm just putting this in my crease. So far, the colors are blending out nicely. Realized with some of the ColourPop um, palettes, that sometimes the colors can be just a little bit chalky. Um, but this one seems to be going pretty good. So, that's good. Now that we have that peachy color blended out into our crease and a little bit on to our lid, I'm gonna go in to a little bit darker of a color. And we're gonna do this color that was beside the peach color and it's called teacup and we're just going to focus this in the crease but i'm not going to go too too heavy with it but i am going to put it just in my crease a little bit this color is also blending out pretty nicely 
The key with these colors is you just don't want to go too fast. So you want to build them up slowly and you want to create this really smooth eye look. If you go too fast and you get too much product on your brush and you're just kind of trying to rush through it, then it's not going to turn out that great. So I've kind of had to teach myself to slow down and just take my time and that the, you know, the slower that you go and the more time you put in it, the better that your look will turn out. If you're just rushing through it and trying to do it in like five minutes, then no, your look's not going to turn out good. Maybe for some people that's like super, super fast at eyeshadow, but I'm not one of those people. Like if I'm going to do eyeshadow, I have to go, it's either zero or no, zero or it all. Like there's no in between with me. Like, you either get full-on glam eyeshadow or you get nothing. So, maybe that's why it takes me, like, two plus hours to get ready. I'm really liking this shade. I think it looks really good blended into that peach color. And I've just put a little bit more in my crease and I'm just blending it out. And it's blending out super smooth. It's not patchy. Um, there's honestly not even a whole lot of fallout. And I know that like, you're gonna have fallout with most every eyeshadow. Like no fallout is basically impossible. But this one honestly does not have a lot of fallout, which is nice because <laughs> normally I do my eyes and then my face. But I knew this was going to be just like an eyeshadow and like a highlighter review. So I did go ahead and do my face off camera. Like I said, to save time because my videos are always so, so long. So, yeah. The way that this eye turned out, I think it's super cute. And I, I just went slow. I did my blending. Like, that's why it <laughs> looks this good because I just went slow. Oh my God, my throat hurts. Oh, this is a Pioneer Woman Cup. Look how cute this cup is. It's huge. Like, my the palm of my hand next to this cup is a huge cup. And I've just got some ginger ale in there because my throat hurts so bad. I'm going to go in with this really, like, maroon color that is called Pitter Patter. And it's this really cute color right here. And that's what I'm gonna use to create the halo, the halo look. And I'm gonna zoom you in so you can, so y'all can see how I do that. Okay, so I've got a little bit of product on my brush, and I'm focusing it on my lid and just packing that on. Hopefully, y'all can see this. Go really slow with this because I've tried to do it fast one time and it just did not work for me. It didn't look as good as like when I went slow. So now I'm just taking it into my lid, blending it out. And I'm also using um, a small brush. It's still a blending brush, but it's not a big fat blending brush. So I just keep blending it into my crease. And I'm doing really short, small circles with my brush. And it's turning out super pink. It's not as maroony as I was wishing. Um, so, the only negative thing I have to say about this palette is there's a whole lot of shimmers. Um, not that many like 
mattes in this palette. But I'm gonna take, I know it's a shimmer, I know, I know, I know, but I'm gonna take the something special color and that is like this dark purple color right here. And I'm just gonna blend that into this maroon color. Normally, you would not put shimmers into your crease. Um, but basically, I'm just doing this to kind of deepen this maroon color because it's super pink. And I like feel like I just done a pink look, so yeah. Okay, so now we're getting some fallout. And that's from that shimmer color. But up until that shimmer, we didn't have that much fallout, so that's pretty good still. I cannot find my ColourPop concealer. It literally just had it. Don't know where it's at. So I'm gonna use the Pop Feel brand concealer. This is like super cheap brand <laughs> concealer. But I'm just using it to clean up that halo. So it's not really gonna matter. And for the halo, you do it directly in the middle of your eyelid. really love this blue color right here so this is the one that we're gonna take and we're just gonna take this I'm taking a flat brush and we're just gonna pack this on where we put that concealer you can even like take your finger and dab it on there if that works better for you I'm getting like total mermaid vibes from this eye look right now. Are we over the mermaid phase and the unicorn phase? Like is that phase gone now? Because everybody was like down for it a little while ago and now I haven't seen just a whole lot of, of that going around. Like are we through with it? Because I really liked that phase. <laughs> But now that we have that blue color packed on there, as you can see, I do have quite a bit of fallout. But I'm going to take just a big fluffy brush and brush that all away. And you'll never know that it was even there. And we'll be good to go. I just don't want to put a wing on this, but I don't know. I can't decide whether it needs a wing or not. Maybe not. I feel like I put a wing on everything. Let's not put a wing on it this time. And I'm going to... Oh. Hold up, wait a minute. Let's pop a little bit of this shimmery white for a little bit of a highlight right underneath that brow bone. I really love the way this eye look came out, but I think it'll look a lot better when I pop some eyelashes on and do my other eye. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'll be right back. After a long process, I finally got the lashes on, the other eye done, and I did put some white liner in my bottom lower waterline and it was in the color, it's the color white, but it's the name of it is Exit and it's just ColourPop's Roll Up Liner. Um, and I really like that liner. The only thing that I don't like is you have to be careful whenever you pull the top off because it will pop out. So you have to be like super careful with that. But other than that, like I really like this eye look. I think it turned out really good. The lashes took me quite a while and I used the Andrea brand. That's a brand you get from Sally's. I did pick up a highlighter palette from ColourPop. I have not used any of ColourPop's highlighters, I don't think. I may have used one, I can't really remember, but I do have, it's called In New, In New, I can't say it, but it's, it's this right here. 
the names of the shadow or the shadows, the highlighter colors. I'll just go ahead and show you the inside. So they are some really pretty um, colors. So starting from this side and going that way, it's fine line, on the loose, glad you came, losing sleep, morning after, and on tempo is the names of them. And I'll swatch them real quick just so you can see. This one is fine lines. The next one is this right here. And it's in the shade on, or the name of it is On The Loose. Next is Glad You Came. This one is Losing Sleep. The next one is Morning After. The last shade is On Tempo. They all are really pretty shades. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Glad You Came. I just think that one will look the best with my skin tone. It's not like super gold, but it's not really white either. It's kind of right there in the middle. So we're gonna go in with that one. Oh, I know, I'm sorry. Not, yes, I said it right, all right? They have the names of these backwards. So you would think the names right there on the back would line up with the ones on the front, but they do not. They do not, they do not. So this first color that I swatched is actually Glad You Came. The next one is on the loose, fine lines, on tempo, morning after, and losing sleep is this one down here. We're actually gonna go in with fine lines because the names were mixed up on the back. I don't know, come on ColourPop, like you can do better than that. Normally I go in with a highlighting brush, but I'm gonna use a beauty blender this time. I was watching a video, I don't remember her name, but she was following a Jaclyn Hill tutorial, like trying to recreate it. And she went in with a beauty blender as her, like what she used for her highlighter. And it just looked so good and I thought I would try it. So we're trying something new. The only thing that I cannot stand about ColourPop's palettes is they don't have a mirror and I, I love a mirror in my palettes. But I mean, as cheap they are, like you can't really complain that much. So this highlight is bright, like super bright. I love this highlighter. It's so pretty. Okay, I need to stop because I will look like a greased pig if I keep going. Love the highlighter, love the eyeshadow. Um, I just think it's all really super cute um, and it blended out really nicely. The highlighter um, looks really good on the skin. Very blinding. Also picked up, so these were out of stock for quite a while. I was actually surprised that they had some in stock whenever I ordered place my order but it's the ColourPop Amber Crystal Setting Spray and they were sold out of this for like so long like this whole brand like line um they had like different kinds like different smells and stuff but I got the amber one and it's just a setting spray so I'm just gonna set my face real quick And it smells wonderful. Like it smells essential oily, oilish, whatever. And then I just take a big fluffy brush and I just pack um, that setting spray in to my skin. And then I also got these little ColourPop minis. And I'm not gonna swatch them because I did whenever I got them in the mail. And that, the the pigment, the lipstick, did not come off of my hand for like three days, okay? And I had to go to work. 
it was not good i didn't like it so i will hold them up um so y'all can see them but it's just they they stained my hands so bad this one is called beeper clueless the words are super small so it's kind of hard to read them more better it's this really pretty like pinky red this is creeper and it is this bright red this is the one that stained my arm so bad and the last one is tool i can't like the words are running together i can't really tell what it said i think that's what it said so we're gonna go in with okay yeah as i've got it halfway on my lips we're gonna go in oh with this brown color and the name of it was beeper oh that's great brown 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 color um I think it looks okay with the lips it's not my first pick but I thought it looked better than any of the other colors so that's why I chose it um so that's all I have for today um I really recommend these products I always recommend ColourPop I love all of their products um but I really do recommend this highlighter palette like it's so cute and this eyeshadow palette is to die for so yeah if you haven't subscribed please do so if you would like to and like this video if you like this eye look and if you want to see more videos like this then just let me know and if you want to enter the giveaway which i don't see why you wouldn't it's going to be ending soon so um be sure to enter it so i can have more people to pick from <laughs> so anyways i'll see y'all in the next one bye